From the Dignity Health Studio at the Bakersfield, California, this is the Renegade Report with Greg Kerr. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Renegade Report. It's the only show here in Bakersfield that's dedicated to the greatest junior college athletic department in the known universe. How have I confirmed that? Because Neil deGrasse Tyson called me this morning and told me so. He heard that the Renegades are ranked nationally. Uh, We're one of the best football teams in the state. We open our, our season on September 5th. We've also got one of the best volleyball players in the state, but you don't have to take my word for it. Uh, Lo Aguiar, the assistant volleyball coach, will be in uh, later on in the show to tell you all about that, but she's exciting. Uh, she took last season off, and I'm, I'm, I'm surprised, but I think that people are going to cease being surprised in a few weeks. She's a, she's a great volleyball player. Uh, also, Coach Chudy may be coming in, but he is in what we refer to as the zone this week preparing for Riverside, so you'll, you'll have to excuse him if he doesn't make it. But right now, we're going to talk to the lady at the top of the pile in BC Athletics, Sandy Taylor. Good morning, Coach Taylor. How are you? Good morning, Francis. How are you? I'm super. Um, I'm going to move your microphone a little closer. Okay. Yeah. Um, j- just as close as the renegades are to, to absolute <laughs> greatness. Um, we've got a lot going on this season in BC Athletics. Uh, it's, it's Memorial Stadium 60th birthday, but football's not the only team playing down there. No, women's soccer opened up their season on Tuesday night with a win against COS. Um, played in the stadium, 7 o'clock start, every home game at 7 o'clock. Uh, they opened the season with a 3-0 win over COS, so we're excited about that. The players are excited, and um, it's just I had officials thanking me for having us in that venue. Um, our opponent, COS, was taking photos after the game with the stadium behind them, so uh, it's very exciting for our soccer team. Yeah, you looked up in the sky, and, and there was not a better setting for the first women's home game uh, or soc- women's soccer game in that stadium in more than 20 years, according to Coach Scott Dameron, maybe longer. Um, and there were, there, were, there were pink clouds in the sky. We had a couple really nice breezes come through. I think it was maybe 91, 92 degrees, if that, right? <laughs> well, we are definitely catching a break with the weather this week. Yes. Um, last year's home opener of football, I think it was 109. It was horrible. So I think the high is supposed to be 89 on Saturday. So I'm really excited about that. But, yes, we caught a break with the weather for sure. Yeah, no, we, we, are, we are in really good shape for that. We're going to have some fun stuff going on at the home football game. Um, we really want to create a safe place for families to go. The world's changed changing really fast and some, sometimes those options are lacking but I really feel like we're turning Renegade football on Saturday nights into like a, a all ages event. Well that's the goal because obviously uh, our, our kids are more used to hands-on immediate uh, gratification so <laughs> you know they get a little bit bored if we don't have something for them to do so we're hoping that it's a family environment there's more things for everybody uh, but of course the highlight is the, the game and so we don't want to certainly don't want to um, Take away from oh, that. Oh, absolutely not. Because so. because if if you're any kind of sports fan, um, you know, or or have any sort of background in athletics, really just a sports fan. Period. We could leave it at that. You can go to a minor league baseball game and spot the guy who's a few steps ahead of everybody else. Definitely. And when you watch the Renegades play football, it's the same feeling. You're like, it's, it's sometimes I forget that they're a junior college team. They, well, play, they play a better brand of football is what I'm saying. And they're really fast because, uh, you know, my experience in the last couple of years on the sideline has given me a newfound appreciation for those good-sized young men out there hitting each other. And I definitely don't want to be one of the ones that get, gets hit. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And it gave us a new appreciation for our life a couple times last <laughs> season. Uh, Dom Frash is sneaky fast. You don't realize how fast uh, are the, the, the Garces trained safety is and a grandson of Coach Carl Bowser, a BC legend, uh, until you're like six feet away from him. It's... It's not safe. <laughs> Definitely not. No, yeah, yeah, you you need to have your eyes on the ball at all times, and that's a, that's another reason why we want people to stay up in the stands. You got plenty of room in Memorial Stadium. Nobody's going to step on you, so enjoy the game from your seats. Um, and uh, where can people get tickets for our events? And, and you can get them ahead of time for women's soccer. You don't have to muss around at the gate, right? You do not. Actually, all of our events are being sold. Tickets are being sold through ValleyTix.com. We have them up for volleyball, wrestling, uh, women's soccer, men's and women's basketball, and of course football so valleytix.com you can call in you can also come to our business office on campus or call our business office on campus and get tickets from valley ticks for any any home event now, how old is the athletic department at bc 94 years 
That's one of the oldest in the state. It has to be. Yes, established in 1922. So. Amazing, since, since before leather helmets. <laughs> um, what are some changes that are coming to, to athletics or have come to BC Athletics in like the last six months and going forward? Well, there's a lot of things going on. First of all, we're starting sand volleyball in the spring, so that's a new sport. Uh, yep, it's a big one in the state. It's really exploded, um, and it's another opportunity for our, our women volleyball players to participate in sand volleyball. And, and you know, that's at the NC2A level. There's a, there's a whole new generation of sand volleyball players. So we're excited about that. So that's, more, that's, so that's another way for people to come to BC and get to a four-year school, possibly for free or, or less, where you have more kids who are going to be getting scholarships. Right. It gives our stu our women's volleyball players an opportunity to have experience in both sand and indoor volleyball, which makes them more marketable. So we're excited about that. Um, we also have a new full-time associate athletic director in Keith Ford. Keith is um, a good guy, too. Yeah. Keith is a good... You know what I love about Keith? He's a go-getter, um, and he is a hands-on guy. Like, if he sees a loose end, he's one of those guys who's jump on it to tie it. He, he's not saying, oh, whose job is that to fix that? He's like, he jumps on it. Yes, absolutely, and, and he fits in really nicely in the department. Uh, we're on the same page with a lot of different issues, and so... Uh, it's been really nice to have him around. He just started August 6th. But yeah, but doesn't he feel like he's like your long-lost brother? He's like this <laughs> missing piece to our puzzle? Yes. Like, we needed you, actually. Yep. And that's awesome. Yep. Anytime you, you as a sports team, inherit an athlete like that, any coach would tell you, like, that's awesome. He fits right into the chemistry. He's a good yep. clubhouse presence, and he plays ball well. So Absolutely. We also are excited because we had two new faculty hired this fall. Um, the college actually hired 34 new full-time faculty, and we had two of those. Uh, Zach Peters is our strength and conditioning coach, and so he's new, uh, working with all student athletes and also teaching general PE classes. And then Matt Moon, our intercollegiate swim coach, he's been adjunct for us for a few years, but uh, he got on as a full-time faculty this fall, and so we're really excited about that. I just kind of want to point out for a minute, too, that, um, and I almost want to put my sunglasses on for this one because it's a good time to be at BC. It is a good time to be at BC. Now, that said, um, colleges across the country have this trend of moving towards keeping adjunct faculty and kind of stringing them on for decades even, right? And here at BC, like, that was amazing that we had that many full-time hires. Well, we're in a growth mode at Bakersfield College, for sure. And we so, have more students this year, right? Right. It's not we, just my imagination. No, we're, we're about 8.9% more this fall than we were last year of I, students. That's a huge increase for an uh, uh, institution our size. It's very, very big, and it's a lot of activity. It's, uh, the last two weeks at school has been very busy. Every office has been working really hard to try to accommodate the new students and what they need. Uh, financial aid office has been working overtime trying to help those students. So, and that's a, speaking of teams, that's an awesome team over in financial yes aid. Yes, it is. Yes, um, it is. A lot of neat people with a, a lot of energy. But I know you took lunch over to them earlier in the week because they have been going crazy. They've been going crazy and and going the extra yard, if you will, for our students and and not student athletes, but all students at yeah. BC. So there's 19,000 students at Bakersfield College. They've got a lot of things on their plate. So anything we can do to help facilitate them, and you know, it's important important for all of our students, especially student athletes too. It's a small town mm -hmm. and the financial aid department is responsible for dispersing an incredible amount of money to our students for books, for tuition, for housing, and for many different things. And um, you see by the happiness that I'm seeing on campus right now, there's a lot of positive attitudes in students and faculty and staff. They're doing, they're doing something right. Yes, absolutely. And, and, you know, we will have our hiccups, but at the same time, the, the attention the students are getting now, to me in my 26th year, this is my 26th year at BC, and it's, I've never felt the energy so positive as I am right now. Yeah, I, I, I completely agree with you. I haven't been there, but this is my third year, and, and you definitely, it, it feels like it's been swelling. You know what I mean? And now everything is starting to fire, and it's very cool to watch. It's a neat machine to be a part of. Mm -hmm. um, we had a facility upgrade, too, that was absolutely amazing. Another step towards greatness, What the, the, the weight room. How did that come about? Well, the new uh, performance center, Coach Chudy, kind of championed this um, and created a partnership with our foundation and community members to, to provide a new weight facility for our student athletes and for our general students and uh, you know a couple hundred thousand dollars that were fundraised and so it was a great partnership between community and foundation and and we're going to reap the benefits of that and it is state-of-the-art performance center it it's it's awesome i mean it looks like the type of thing you'd see an olympic training center a division one school and folks already say that when they come to, to our facilities and look around um you know like you said the department's been around for a long time memorial stadium's turning 60 so we do have some aging facilities, but they're awesome facilities. 
Well, and, and we do have some aging facilities, but one thing about how it was built in the 60s is it's built like no other. So, oh, yeah. You don't get a cell phone reception in your office. No. <laughs> um, it's a cement building, and you don't get any cell phone service. But, you know, it's, it's really fun to be a part of the athletic program at Bakersfield College because of the facilities and because of all the things that we have going on. Um, you know, this is my third year, and it, it just gets better and better all the time. So, you know, the, the mantra, it's a good time to be at BC, is couldn't be more true for athletics. Uh, Bakersfield College is strong, and Bakersfield College Athletics is strong, too. Oh, ab- absolutely. And like you said, only three years, but but in that time, we've had a wrestler turn in a perfect season. We had basketball win the Western State Conference last year. Mm-hmm. Uh, volleyball looks really sharp. Yes, we had a great start to the season already. Uh, volleyball's 3-1. and one. Soccer won their home opener. Our men's and women's cross-country teams both won the race they they participated in on, on Friday last week. So we're off to a good start. Uh, we look forward to more this week weekend but you know it's it's exciting it's fun uh, the energy in our department is up and so it, it's just a good time to be at bc that absolutely is uh coach sandy taylor thank you so much for coming on the renegade report uh coming up next we're going to check in with lo aguiar of the volleyball team and we're going to talk about that player who just might be one of the best in the state she took last season off but that's an ongoing theme in the athletic department this year redemption we have a couple athletes who have stepped away from their respective sports for a period of time and they have come back in fighting shape uh it's never too late to turn it all around and we'll check in with lo Aggie are next on the Renegade Report.